Hi, I am Gloria Henderson. I am the owner of Soulful Journey, a licensed massage therapist in Newport News, Virginia. I know during this time that there are a lot of anxious feelings and concerns because I'm that, I feel that way as well. And while I am in my quiet place and I have grounded myself, I meditate. And what I would like to do is just go through a very brief meditation with you. What I would like for you to do is to find your place, have a seat, or you can lay down. If you're sitting, make sure your feet is touching the floor, your hands on your lap. I would like for you to close your eyes. I want you to take a deep breath in on the count of three. Hold it for three and exhale. I want you to take another deep breath in and slowly exhale. Take another deep breath in slowly exhale. Take some moment and just allow your breath to breathe naturally. Know that in this time and in this space that you are safe. Breathe in and breathe out. Know that in this space that you are protected. Take another deep breath in and exhale. And just pay attention to your breath. Know that all is well. One more breath in. Exhale. And gently open your eyes. Just check in with yourself. See how you're feeling. And if you find yourself in that place of feeling anxious or nervous or depressed, just take a few moments. That's all it takes. A few minutes, three minutes, do some deep breathing and know that you are safe, know that you're protected, know that you are loved. Peace and blessings. Hello everyone, I'm Diane Sabat and welcome to Backyard Gardening. Gardening is a lot of fun. It's very stress relieving, I love it. And what better way to grow something and then you can eat something from it a few months later or you see a flower in bloom it's absolutely fabulous. So what even if, if you have never done this before, where do you get started? You can get your seeds from the local garden store, but the recommendation is that you should stay away from those places right now. So how about a seed catalog? I have a few seed catalogs here. They'll be happily, happy to send the catalogs to you and the seeds will arrive in almost no time and you've got lots to choose from. I have seed packets that I have purchased over time lots of them here as you can tell and i also grow things this is an okra i let a few of them dry on the vine and then i open the pods i get the seeds and i can get about 35 seeds from one okra pad that's a lot of okra and they are very fast growing very prolific high germination rate great investment you can get started in pots as I have a few pots here, nothing is in them right now because this is very early spring and the planting season has just gotten started. Not everything is in the ground yet. Or you can have raised beds. And I have a few raised beds. I'll show you those to you in a minute. All the, along the side of my house, raised beds are great. You can make them out of anything. You can put a few cement blocks together. You can put some wood. You can get in the middle of a tire. I have seen that a car tire just 
fill it with dirt and you can get started. You have a raised bed. It is wonderful. It's therapeutic. Do not let this be a chore. It has to be a hobby. If it's a hobby, you will love it and it will be fun. If you prefer flowers, I have some bulbs that I have. These are designed for shade. They'll go on the far side of the house that doesn't get a lot of sun. I have other things here to attract insects. I, I grow for pollinators. I have a few bulbs. These are begonias and I have already placed a few of these in pots that will be on my veranda. And they really do look like this when they bloom. Here are a few of my raised beds. In this raised bed, I have some garlic. These have been in the ground since last fall. I planted some spinach seeds here and they're just starting to come up. See a few? These were, they've been in the ground for about a week and a half and they're just starting to germinate. And this is how I label my garden. I get a skewer, a barbecue skewer, and the cork from a wine bottle. And I write on it and I label so I know what's where. And of course, you know, these days I'm accumulating quite a lot of wine corks from being at home with nothing much to do, drinking wine, I'm making labels, that's what I'm really doing. <laughs> Over here, I have another raised bed. Here are a few stragglers. These are, they might be red onions, not sure. But I have already planted okra in these beds. And both of these beds are filled with okra. This sprouting over here is a little Brussels sprout that the deers ate and left that in place. They'll probably be coming back for more, but I will be putting a fence around my bed, some of my beds, because the deers love my greenery as much as I do. The only thing is that they don't eat some and leave some. They want to eat it all and that we, we can't have that. So I'm going to be doing something about it. Take a look at my asparagus. These are the first things that come up every year. If you get close, you can see quite a few of them coming up. They spring up and I have quite a collection that I have cut already. And they just randomly come up in the bed My raised beds are all along the side of my house. I have some more garlic in this bed. I have thyme, wonderful seasoning. And some more garlic here. You cannot have too much garlic. This is an asparagus. Wonderful, I'll start having asparagus. Nothing is coming up yet, but asparagus, parsley. I don't usually do parsley very much with my cooking, except I do make tea from the leaves, but I am going to allow this bush to flower because there are some butterflies that absolutely love this bush. And then I see these green and yellow butterflies flying around and this bush will be gone. By the middle of the summer, it'll be down to stalks. Nothing here yet, this is to be decided. Here is mint, lemon mint, makes a lovely tea. This is probably onions or garlic. I, have, I did put a few tomatoes in and they will be coming along. This will be a bed of marigold. Give some color to the garden. A few insects like them, some don't. But this will be marigold springing up. I do have potatoes. For the first time, I planted potatoes. These are ground eggshells as a fertilizer. That's what this white stuff is all about. I put eggshells in the blender, mix them all up, and, and work them into the soil. This mound is for zucchini. And I do have several zucchini seeds in the ground. They will be up in about another week. And on the corners, I have beans and I'll harvest those very early. That will be string bean. So you see, I don't have a lot of space. I have beds, raised beds. I have a few pots and I am loving it. And I will be eating something from my garden in a few months. I'll, I enjoy a cup of tea every morning. It's wonderful. Get started and stay tuned for the next video. We will talk about flowers. Hi, I'm Jean with CA and J Farm. We're a medicinal herb and organic egg farm right here in Matthews County, Virginia. I'm a trained herbalist sharing natural wellness education on and off farm through programs and music, and I love to share. Uh, the earth gives us everything we need uh, for medicine and food. We just got to know how to identify it and how to use it and be smart enough not to throw poison on the naturalness and kill it and then go spend money on food and medicine that's not nearly as good anyway i'm going to show you around the farm and we're going to start off with our honeybees our honeybees are italian and they are just beautiful we have three hives this year 
And uh, we're not getting a ton of honey anymore because we're so near so many fields that are being sprayed that it's kind of weakened them. But even if we just get good pollination, it's worth having honeybees every year. We, we, we will always keep bees. And it not only pollinates our farm well, but they, they fly five to six miles around and pollinate the whole area, which is a benefit for the whole neighborhood. So, and we're happy to do that. So anyway, I want us to come over here. I'm going to be showing you a variety of herbs, and every herb has a list this long of things it does. So I'm not going to be able to tell you everything, but I'll just kind of touch on them. And then any of these herbs, Google them. You'll be amazed at what they do. Start off here. I'm, I'm experimenting with Italian dandelions. Uh, they're a little different than our, our native dandelions. Um, pretty much the same health benefits, but they're a little sweeter in salads. And dandelions are amazing in salads or cooked. And, um, and right now you want to use the tops, all the energy and the medicines up in the flowers and the leaves right now because it's springtime. In the fall, all the magic goes down into the root because it goes down for the winter. And that's when the root has everything in it. So just a little tip. Okay, let's come around here. Right here is our edible flower bed. You can see it right there. And this is something we are doing new this year. We're going to be growing nutritional greens, lettuces, and we're going to be mixing in handfuls of edible flowers, which are just so rich in minerals and vitamins. And it makes your salad so pretty too. Um, and uh, the violas are uh, anti-allergens. They're cold and flu fighters. They soothe, soothe your cough and your throat. Treats fevers, asthma, bronchitis, and whooping cough. And if you use it all the time, it will actually lower your blood pressure. Um, it's great for hair and skin and salves too. One of the favorite ones I've seen was violas, calendula, and marshmallow, which makes a great salve. Over here is our elderberries. I'm a new elderberry cutter, uh, I, I, elderberry grower. I grow them from cuttings. And uh, elderberry, you know, is just nature's medicine chest. They are just amazing. A powerhouse of wellness. Okay, we're gonna walk this way. This here's our hoop house. And then we've got the herbs on the tables on the right. We raise a variety of herbs that we're gonna be selling and using. And we come this way and I wanted to show you a quick herb that's growing right here in the grass. And then we're going to go across and look at the, the meditation labyrinth, the dragonfly labyrinth. I saw this out here. Now I have a, oh, there it is. This is plantain. I'm afraid the mower hit it a little bit, but you can still see. These are growing everywhere, and they're growing everywhere at your house too. See the veining in the back? Very unique. This is narrow leaf plantain. And then there's a broad leaf that has more of a rounded tip. And plantain, you can take and you can chew it up or you can squish it up and you know, beat it up a little bit, put it on a bee sting and it'll suck out all the toxin. Or it'll also suck out a splinter. If you have a splinter, if you're having a hard time getting out, it's really deep, put it on there with a Band-Aid, leave it overnight, it'll suck that splinter to the surface. So it does a lot of other things too. It's great in salads, full of nutrition. All of these herbs are, they're just full of minerals and vitamins and uh, just wonderful in salads. You wanna be sure you pick them um, young and tender. Uh, you don't, you don't wanna get them you know, old and tough. You wanna tip, you wanna pick the, like, the tips. Here's our, our, our drum circle area. This is the dragonfly drum circle area. We have a team that leads this every month um, and drum circles are amazing for relieving stress and lowering your blood, blood pressure. We're gonna go over here, we're gonna cross our little bridge and go over to the, to the quiet side of the farm. The quiet side is the magical side. It is, we, uh, whenever we wanna get away a little bit, we come over here and just relax a minute. And over there is the busy side of the farm with the chickens and the dogs and the ducks and all the visitors and buying plants and, and the store. And then on drum circle night, boy, that's popping with a fire. And we got lots of people out here drumming and singing. But if you wanna come and relax, and everybody needs a place to relax, and I encourage you to find a place to relax. Um, if you live near here, you're welcome here anytime. To come here is free and just enjoy the labyrinth and come over here and just de-stress, you know. So anyway, we're gonna cross the bridge. As soon as you cross the bridge, you feel the difference. Um, it's just so quiet and meditative over here. And like I said, you need to find a place where you can meditate and have some quiet moments. Because today's world is so stressful. This is the Dragonfly Meditation Labyrinth. We built it on December 8, 2018. And isn't it gorgeous? 
It's a classic Seventh Circuit Labyrinth, and we are registered with the Labyrinth Society. Some people visit just to watch the Labyrinth. A place for meditation and prayer. And at the back is going to be the entrance to the Woodland Peace Path that we're developing now. That's going to be the next thing we add to the farm. So, like I said, it's so important to connect to nature and to ground. A lot of people take off their shoes. And I thought I would share a little bit of drumming with you. And I hope you will feel it and use it. And anyway, it's kind of like the drum beat. The drum beat of the world. I can feel my heart beat. Beating to the rhythm of the freedom song. I can feel my heart beat. Beating to the rhythm of the freedom song. When I say yes to the beat in me, I can set my spirit free. When I say yes to the beat in you, I can see your light shine through. And I can. I can see your light shine through. Don't let anything put out your light. Don't let today's worries and stresses of the world put out your light. You shine. So Joy. this is all about making that special someone in our life feel loved and making their day special. So I just took a plate from my cabinet. You can take this plate. You can take any plate. It doesn't matter. And the, I just threw together some things that I found in my refrigerator. Yours may be different. That's fine. Because you're going to put their favorites on their plate. And I'm starting to my left. And to my left, I have some nice, juicy, sweet blueberries. I really enjoy blueberries. So I'm happy about those. I have some nice, soft cream cheese some 70% dark chocolate. It's really tasty. I have some jalapeno and garlic stuffed olives for the person who likes a little spice in their life. I have some Brazil nuts. I have a mini cucumber. I really like these. Lots of crunch. And I'm going to take that and probably dip it in my homemade dip. And I made mine because I didn't have any dip. I had a, some sour cream. I took some Mrs. Dash garlic and herb. I put it in there with some salt, made some dip. And I also have grape tomatoes on my plate and I'm gonna dip them into my dip. I made a second plate just to show you that some variety, that there is no right or wrong. On this plate, in addition to the other things, those same things that I have on the other plate, I've added some Cooper Sharp cheese and some cuties. Again, some of my favorites. I also want to remind you that that special someone in your life might enjoy a nice cup of tea. And I have strawberry pomegranate and mango passion fruit. And this nice inspirational cup to remind you that you got this. Have a good time. Thanks for joining me. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi there. I'm Star. And I understand the feeling of dread when you've got a date night coming up and you've got absolutely nothing planned. There are a lot of reasons why planning a good date night can be difficult. You could find date night activities are too expensive, especially on a regular basis. Date nights can also be contingent on the weather and other factors that are out of your control. Or you could be quarantined from a pandemic and unable to hit up your regular date night spots. Let's take a look at five fun indoor date night ideas that won't break the bank. Open up that fridge, you're going to compete against your significant other for ultimate culinary bragging rights. Using only what you currently have in your refrigerator, see who can construct the best dish. You can decide how to give out points and if there are any stipulations such as each dish has to use certain ingredients. You might think this will never work as you generally don't have a fully stocked fridge, but that's part of the fun. The less you have in the fridge, the more hilarious the dishes become and the more creative you have to be to pull it off. It's time to go on a picnic. It doesn't matter if it's raining or snowing outside, this is an indoor picnic. Grab your sweetheart and load up your basket. An indoor picnic might be just what you need for a fun date night.
Imagine snacking on finger foods in front of a window or a sliding glass door while you have a great conversation with your significant other. You can assemble your picnic basket together and set up your blanket in the perfect spot. Most people have unfinished crafts sitting around the house. Pick up an art project and see where the night takes you. Maybe you and your partner could discover a hidden talent for crochet or painting. Perhaps you could make something you could display around the house. The best part about this date night is that you'll complete a project that you never actually finished and you don't need to purchase any supplies because you've already purchased them. Take a trip to a museum without changing out of your slippers. Many popular museums offer virtual tours. For example, you can tour the entire British Museum using Google Maps. Many others offer games, 3D views of the art, and histories about the piece and the artist. You can even play museum bingo or take your partner on a tour of a museum that you've been to that they haven't. Challenge yourself and your partner to go one hour with absolutely no technology. Putting your phone down for an evening can be a great way to connect with your partner. This is especially helpful for people who can't seem to go even a single conversation without checking their phone. It might be awkward at first, and if you're worried about you and your partner just sitting there staring at each other in the beginning, trust me, you might be. But it's a great way to see what happens when you leave technology behind and have some time with just the two of you. There's lots of great low budget date night ideas out there. You can visit sites such as Pinterest for more ideas or even come up with some of your own. Have fun, be safe, and enjoy spending time with your date. Hey everybody, I am Kavana Black and I am super excited. And this is a video to help inspire you and motivate you and hopefully each day you're going to feel good about waking up and getting into it. And these activities are simple. It's the simple things that makes things real easy. So let's really get into this thing. Every day you should be your own DJ. What does that mean? In the morning and at night, you should create a playlist that motivates you and soothes you. In the morning, your playlist, it should be something that gets you going, gets you hype, gets you into it. And then at night, it should be a playlist that brings you down and relaxes you and prepares you, you know, when you go to bed. And I was thinking to myself, you know, right now people are feeling unmotivated and probably that's because they feel like they don't really have a sense of purpose. So I was like, well, we need to give purpose an opportunity to be given back to you. And today, that is what we're going to do. We're going to give this purpose to you. Each day, come up with a theme. Each day, come up with a theme that makes you get happy and makes you get excited about waking up. Like, oh, I'm going to do this tomorrow. And I'm, I did this today. And I'm going to do this on Friday. And I'm going to do this on Thursday. So let me give you an example. Me Mondays. Me Mondays is all about self-care from the inside out, taking care of you. First of all, you should wake up and drink water every single morning. Before you eat, before you do anything, drinking water replenishes you. Remember, inside out. Then we have breakfast, and your breakfast should be healthy things like fruits and vegetables. It needs to be something that truly gives the body a vitamin C, a vitamin D, a vitamin A, basically a multivitamin, and you can do that. Now, let me ask you this real question. How many of y'all like going to the gym? I don't at all. I do not like the gym. I do not like the gym. But I'm going to tell you something. I work out every single day. And if you like me, then this is definitely for you. Every day I get on YouTube and I find me a new type of workout. And you only need to work out for 20 to maybe 30 minutes. You need to just to circulate the blood and get the body moving and motivated. I mean, I ain't trying to be like, Ugh. as you can see, I can't even be like, Ugh. but anyway, I watch Shanti hip hop abs. I do Zumba. I do country line dancing. There's so many things. So you want to get the body motivated. And lastly, you know, take care of these hands. Take care of them feet. 
Get in that bathtub and have a spa bath with lavender and Epsom salt. Feel good about yourself. Then get out there and watch your favorite movie. Get that popcorn and laugh and have a good time. Date yourself. So that's me Mondays. Okay, now we're going to Happy Tuesdays. I feel like Happy Tuesdays is great because it's about friends. It's about family. And friends and family, especially now, it's truly difficult, especially if you're not with your family and they're at a distance. So there's an app called House Party, and it is an amazing app, and you can have a bazillion, gazillion, billion people on it. I mean, you can have people on there, and you can have your own family reunion. True indeed. Facts. Super facts. You know what I mean? So you can do that. And then also, I thought something really, really cool. If you're not able to be with your family and have that conversation and that dialogue and play goom, uh, gooms, I said gooms, games like Uno or Monopoly or any of those kind of things, this is another thing that you can do. And it's really simple. Take some construction paper, cut it in the size of a card, get them crayons out, get them pencils out, and draw a beautiful decoration on the front and inside put a personal message and then send it through mail. I know that it sounds simple, but imagine someone getting a custom-made card with a custom-made message from their aunt or their cousin or their best friend. That's deep. That's great. It just feels really good. So that's something that you can do. Moving right along, we have Greedy Wednesdays. Now, two days out of the week, I feel like, you know, you should just indulge and, you know, not feel guilty for the things that we make people feel guilty for. Because if you're taking care of yourself and you're motivating yourself inside out and doing all the things you do, then you need those two days to do, you know, some things that are legal, not illegal. Like food. Honey, I love food. I love eating. And if you like cheesecake, get into it. If you like macaroni and cheese, get into it. If you like um, salmon, if you like lasagna, if you like pizza with them pepperonis, if you like that butter pecan ice cream, get into it. (sighs) Greedy Wednesdays is about just being greedy. And not just in food, but just in the things that you, you know, you kind of push back off of and you don't really indulge in. So that's Greedy Wednesdays. Smarty Pants Thursdays. Smarty Pants Thursdays is real easy. Go online. Take an online course. I mean, Harvard is giving online classes for free. This is the opportunity to learn something new. I feel like when you stop learning, you stop growing. And we need to all grow. So don't stay stuck. Get in that thesaurus. Get in that cyclopedia. Get in that Google. Get on that YouTube. Get into it. Find something. I know, you know, funny enough, I was thinking about being a bartender and learning online. Yeah, (laughs) I don't think that would work out. I can't even handle liquor. But you get what I'm saying. Get online and really, really learn something and have fun studying your craft. So next we have Freedom Fridays. Freedom Fridays I like a lot because Freedom Fridays is about doing things that free your mind. And one of the things that I think is really cool that will free your mind is this. Painting is an activity that most people take for granted, but it's really a wonderful activity. Get some paint, get some brushes, get a canvas. Maybe you want to look out the window and look at nature. Maybe you want to listen to music. Maybe you want to just be in just silence. But allow yourself to not think about anything and freely just paint and let go. And then after you're painting, take a look at it. And after you look at it, get out a journal and write down your thoughts freely. Don't think too hard, but write down what you're feeling when you see it. This activity stimulates the mind not to stay stuck in something. It allows it to come alive. Thankless Saturdays. After all of that freedom, and after all that greedy, and after all of that happy, and after all of that me, it's just time to be thankless. It is really hard if you really try not to think about stuff. Stop it. Just have a day where you just... Don't think about anything. Just let it be what it's going to be. It is what it is. And the last one is Grateful Sundays. For me, of course, worship, praying to God, 
calling someone that you love and telling them, I just appreciate your whole life, what you've done for me. Grateful Sundays is showing gratitude. And when you show gratitude, you stay grounded. So, I'm Cabana Black. I gave you days a week. I gave you things. Be the DJ of your life. But no matter what, don't give up on life. Because life is not going to give up on you. All right. Peace! Our career and technical programs offer a lot of options for a high-paying career. Get real-world training from instructors with real industry experience. Make Thomas Nelson your first choice for an education that's affordable, flexible, and local.